don't you all find it a bit crazy that um uh, sar says we owe them like that's the government and uh we spent a couple of days without water low shedding is at stage six hmm like <laughs> Where do I report the government for not providing services, you know? Because we do pay for water, we do pay for electricity, but we have an issue when it comes to service delivery. Yo, this thing is, is frustrating me. Young Fraza. today it is monday welcome back to another episode of a glimpse of my life and everything nice welcome to my visual diary today it is monday and it is the snow day in south africa in Joburg. Whew, we are going through it all at this point if it was to continue for more than five days i was gonna go home back in limpopo i was packing my stuff and i was going home because i cannot deal with all of this okay so today it is day one of juicing <laughs> one of just thing so what's gonna happen like you saw me make the juice yesterday what's gonna happen is that i'm gonna have lunch right but for breakfast and dinner i'm gonna have a juice because also i just don't want to move from eating three meals a day to juicing uh, i'm gonna it's not gonna be cute so i'll have juice for breakfast and dinner and then have lunch i've already taken out meat uh, meat that i'm gonna make for lunch it is currently around 11 yeah, but anyways, just wanted to greet you guys and start this vlog and share my detoxing liquid diet journey with you all. So I will see you at lunch or dinner, but we're going to be in this journey for like three days, just three days. I think in terms of my body, my like body is okay-ish, you know, but the problem is, can you see that? <laughs> When I do this, I have like double chin, so I'm trying to get rid of it. I will show you my body body now. Also, I know I've gained on my bums and my thighs. Yeah. <laughs> this is how we're currently looking. Okay. It's not too bad, but um, something can be done about it. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do, so with doing the liquid dye thing, I'm just trying to kickstart my health weight loss journey uh, by detoxing and then we'll take it from there. Because also I just realized that I have been eating everything that comes to my mind. Also dating is just not a good thing, you know, like you're happy and they're feeding you. You have nothing to worry about, you know, and also dating takes you out of your daily routine. <laughs> Because you're like, okay, I go to the gym Monday to Friday, I eat this, I eat that. The next thing you're visiting your boyfriend or he's visiting and you can't even go to gym or you can't have a smoothie for dinner or he makes plans like dinner reservations or lunch reservations. <sighs> they don't even khalimela you when you say you're craving cake. Like, why aren't you saying no, you're on a diet? But anyways, I'm not complaining. I am happy. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, today it is Tuesday, I just made it to the gym, I'm super excited about it, I have not been at the gym for a couple of days now and it was busy bothering me, but uh, yeah, I am back at the gym today. Yesterday was the coldest day in Johannesburg and there was just no way I was going to make it to gym, yeah. I still have 20 minutes until my class starts, I was looking at the time, my spinning class starts, it's, th it's starting at half past four and currently now it is four o'clock. Well, I still have 30 minutes, but I like arriving at my classes 15 minutes earlier, you know. So also I can book a bike because that class is usually so full. Now I just got this. Um, it's too bright. This chia juice from Woolies. It tastes, it is, it is chia obviously, so it's 
it's very weird also got a banana that I'm, i need to eat now before i go into class and also i'm low shaded now at four so i figured coming to the gym is the best idea ever instead of just lazing around the house cold today today is wednesday yesterday my guest finished around nine i was just like why would you do that ew <laughs> why would you do that why couldn't you wait for tomorrow why yeah after it finishes i was like you know what i am going to sleep there's just no way i'm gonna make it like the cold just to watch a movie that's still gonna be there tomorrow so yeah i am here to fill up my two little guesses um, my 3 kgs and it's actually so cheap hey it is so cheap because for both i paid 162 meaning that each is 81 rand that is so cheap you know and i didn't know about this place i was willing to go so far away like to builders which is like 20 kilometers away not knowing that there is a place that refills girls right next door well not necessarily right next door but five kilometers right which is like super close and it is so cheap because at builders my boyfriend was saying that the last time he refilled my little gas the 3 kg it was 110 because he uses a bigger cylinder because he has a bigger heater i get a story say south have a heater i am scared of gas so i need to keep it to a little quantity so he was saying that the last time it was 110 and then i was gonna go pay 110 at 20 kilometers away which was gonna be a drive and one I get but that's 81 rand per cylinder, which is like five kilometers away, right next to my gym, basically. Guys, did I not almost die from the gas? <laughs> it was a 10 plus four situation because what was I, what was going on? But <sighs> I was so scared for my life. Remember in the morning we went to go fill up the gas tank, right? So I come back, I switched it on, it was warm, wind, you know, amazing. 
And then I'm not paying attention to it because now I'm working. And then when I turn and I look at it, it's frozen. More, more, more this thing. Let me show you. Ow! It's frozen on this thing, right? And a bit of this pipe. I was like, what is going on? What is this? I don't want to die. My fear for guests just, you know, already there was fear for guests, but I feel like it went 10 times more, if not 100 times more. Saying, I called my brother. I was like, hey, my guests is freezing up. I don't know what's happening. I am scared. And then I was like, okay, switch it off. I was like, no, I did. I switched it off. I took it outside, Evan, because, <laughs> you know, as much as I was scared, but I was like, you know what? This is not going to bomb in here. I, I'm fully into a bomb, you know. I was like, no, um, there's two possibilities because my sister, my brother is a mechanical engineer, I believe. Yeah, because he's he's worked with gas before, you know. It was like, there's two possibilities. It's either you didn't close it up properly or they overfilled it where you went to go fill it up. So I suggest you go back so they check it if they didn't overfill it and then ask them to help you. Bye, 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 both, you know, for them to connect it for you at that place. I was like, okay, fine, cool, I'm going to do that. So that is where we're headed now. It is currently around three. That's where I'm headed. And then afterwards, I'm going to go to the gym because I'm low-shitted from four to six, you know, so I can somehow go to the gym and kill time. But yeah, I almost passed out. I was so scared. I was, <laughs> I was so scared. It was crazy. I was like, yeah. From there, I've been freezing. Funny part, I didn't even want to turn on the electric one. <laughs> <laughs> because of and you know one thing when you when you now take things to whoever that's supposed to help you it doesn't behave the way it behaved with you so i'm really hoping that it freezes again anyways let's go if i tell you anyways before we get to the drama i am preparing to go to gym as you can see uh i've been so spoiled lately i've only been attending gym only when there is um classes this is crooked if i tell you guys a story sars if i catch you if i catch sars <laughs> Wow, I do not understand how I owe SARS, you know. I have to resubmit my stuff because but what happens with SARS when they do an auto assessment is that they get your information from third party and draw a conclusion from there, right? So you have 40 days from the day that they send you the auto assessment to resubmit your stuff and ensure that for real, for real, the money that they say you're owing them or whatever the case is, which I believe in this case, it will be the money that you're owing them because if they're owing you, I also wouldn't care, you know. But anyways, they're saying that I owe them money. It's not a lot of money. I think it's like 900 grand or something. But also, I'm just like, Johnny, how? I want to know, you know. So later on today, when I come back from the gym, I need to resubmit my stuff. I need to get my documents from work, so I need to resubmit my stuff. However, another thing I want to share is I think cute about being a homeowner. Well, it's cute, right? But uh, who? <laughs> you cannot report when something is broken. You cannot report it to your landlord or expect somebody to fix it. Now nah, you're gonna fix it on your own. So my geezer has been giving me problems, right? Um, whenever I close tabs and I'm like fast, like close tabs fast, right? It goes like. The geezer and the tabs I get it if there's like tabs crossing each other but there's a funny noise that happens in my roof it goes like you know g -g 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 all the time so it's scary for me i don't want any problems i don't want any geezer dropping on me i don't want any problems so i need to fix that I got a quotation 
<laughs> wow my goodness there is nothing cute about being a homeowner because you need to fix everything on your own on top of that i feel oh. my guess also oh my god oh asanda oh wow wow but every month you must put aside Okay, not every month, you know, every now and then you must put aside extra money to fix stuff in the house, you know. This is away from renovations. You must just put away money. But also, I need to find out. No, my geyser is insured. My geyser, yes, my geyser is insured because I do, yes, my geyser, the building and the geyser is insured. So I can, oh, I said, oh my God, oh. <laughs> The geyser is insured, so that is better. That is one problem out of the way. I just need to focus on the gas. Ngapa, it's SARS. Oh, my dear. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Yeah, I just made it to gym. I didn't give you guys an update about the gas, right? <laughs> I went to fix the gas, fine. They tied the... I tightened it, they were like, okay, it was leaking, blah, blah, blah. Fine, I get home, I try it again. Did I not see fire? Did I not see fire? <laughs> and then on my, on my, uh, what's this? Carpet, right? When you step on it with socks, yeah, to show or it bent. Like, you can't see it, but you can feel it. I saw fire. The way I reached for that gas tank so quickly and closed it, because, whoa. Oh, so much would have went wrong so much would have went wrong it's been outside since that day i did not want to bring it back into the house uh, my boyfriend said he would look at it i was like ah, when you want to look at it you can you can't pick it up take it to your house and look at it because i don't want fire in my house so for now i, I will settle for who this woman almost bumped me i will settle for an electric heater which is also finishing electricity. Yo, guys, good ning, good ning, being a homeowner, good ning, good ning, good ning, saying alone, yo, good ning, being an adult. Yo, ha. Uh -uh.